Inquisitor. Hey boss, how are you? Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talrashoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poisons. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified Magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog always put a smile on my face. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things. Fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate to vent forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Canari can't handle the fighting in Sahara or lose faith in the Kune, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kune to stay civilized. Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kune out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Empress of fire, what season may come? We fight for Your the worship. I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. What would you like to know? We'll talk later. Sarah was never an agreeable girl. 
Her tongue tells tales of rebellion, but she was so fast and quick with her bow. No one quite knew where she came from. Sarah was never quite the quiet inquisitor. Her inquisitor. Loud and the joyful, but she knew the inquisitor. Yeah. And she knew how to enrage them. She would always like to say, Why change the past when you can own the state? She knows they're going to kill her, can only save what's important. Precious space to remember her smile. I'll talk to you later. If you like. Girl. Some say she lives in a tavern, but she was so sharp and quick You're with a right, bow. Arrows strike like a dragon. Sarah was never quite the gentlest girl. Her eyes were sharp like a At your order. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Take away his armor and the lyrium, and Samson's just another man. I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Dagna, what have you learned of Samson? He should be dead. I mean, you could make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor, it's genius. To do all this and not go insane, he must be resistant. Or he is insane. Or both. So in addition to killing others, it's slowly consuming him, too? Yes, but slow is not fast. It doesn't matter. I can find a way to hurt him. I just need time and red lyrium. For tests. Is that wise? Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long, or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? No hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. And I'll show. Work to do.